the new telecom company jio has been launched and the company has made big promises to their customers i am uttam pandey from android house what is going on everybody here we go Mr Mukesh Ambani's company Jio has been launched on their 42nd annual general meeting. The Jio services will be rolled out officially after 5 September. There are so many customers who want to get their hands on Jio services and from 5 September onwards they can use 4G services just by getting the same from the Digital Mini Express. At the launch event the company has claimed that they will be giving 1 GB of 4G data at just rupees 50. But the truth is they are playing here. The 1 GB of 4G data that they are offering at rupees 50 will be only used by the Jio hotspot, which will be installed in different regions of the India. And there are total 10 lakhs of hotspot that is going to be installed all over the India. As far as now, we don't know anything about the coverage area of the Jio hotspot. So most of the people may not use that much of free data that they are offering in their packs because people may not know about where the hotspot is installed. So according to me the additional hotspot data is for no use and it is only to create a hype the second thing that they claimed on their launch event was that the calling will be absolutely free but this is not true either you have to pay 2 paisa per second yes you had it right 2 paisa per second it is not 1 paisa per second so it makes it more costly than the other companies are offering it means if you don't recharge your connection with 149 rupees per month you don't get free calling facility and one of the major drawback of unlimited free calling through 4g is that it will be only supported in the smartphones which support voltee which is voice over lte and the people who has only 4g lte smartphones they would not be able to use the unlimited free calling feature because in the smartphones that are only lte enabled you can call through jio join app only and what jio join app does actually is it converts your voice calling to net calling which requires some data and if your data pack is finished then you can't make any call further the company has also claimed that the their jio app services will be absolutely free this is not true either each of the jio pack have their specific tariff plans like if you want to use jio tv then you have to pay 350 rupees for a month and for jio cinema you have to pay 199 rupees for music you have to pay 99 rupees for jio security you have to pay 229 rupees for jio magazines you have to pay 199 rupees per month for jio newspaper you have to pay 99 rupees and for jio cloud it will be free up to 5 gb and after that you have to pay for that the company also claimed in their launch event that the local and std sms will be absolutely free forever This is also not true. The cost for one SMS will be one rupees. And the biggest thing that they claimed on their launch event to create a hype was that roaming will be absolutely free forever. But it is not true either. They will charge different prices for roaming as well, like 45 paisa per minute incoming calls and 80 paisa per minute for outgoing calls, and so on. The data that will be used by Jio app will be detected from your data pack. so if you will use your data pack completely then you can't use jio apps for free further the company promised to provide 1 gb of 4g data at rupees 50 on the official website of jio it is written that it will cost you 0.5 paisa for 10 gb the flat charges of 4g data are 524 rupees per gb which is cheaper than the other companies are offering but it is not cheap as it was claimed And the worst part that surprised me a lot is that the customers who were using the Jio Preview offer till now will suffer after the 5th September because the Jio Preview offer will be converted into the Jio Welcome offer which will give you 4 GB of free data for a day and after that it will be 128 kbps onwards the company also claimed that they will offer you free unlimited uses of 4G data in night hours but according to them the night hours are from 2 am to 5 am which is exactly half as the other companies are offering so as the conclusion of this video it is cheaper than the other companies are offering but it is not cheap as it was claimed to be that's it for this video guys drop me a comment below in the comment section and let me know what you guys think about the jio plans
and if you like this video then do hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and i will talk to you in the next one peace